Hey, you thought it was somebody else? Well, it's Fennin. And welcome to Frog Detective, the Haunted Island. So the very first game out of three Frog Detective games. I really hope it's going to be silly and it's going to ease me in to detective games. And yeah, looking forward to it. Okay, let's jump into it. Let's play a game. That's me. Walking to work. <gasps> oh, okay, that's that's me too. Okay. Aww. Okay, I have to answer that. I'm very sorry. Yes? Hello? Who is it? <laughs> Why does he look like that? Supervisor. It's the supervisor. Should I change voices for that? Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things going with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well, sail. Oh, I'm very sorry. Salema datang, datang kembali. I'm very sorry. That means welcome back. I think. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for you. <gasps> Ooh. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. Okay, I'm, I'm holding on. I am. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So, get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. That's my hand. What's a ghost scientist? Well, I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. The ghost is still at large. So, the head scientist there, a monkey, of course, calls me up. They need and they want the greatest investigator I have. So, of course, that is me. The supervisor kind of looks like my boss. <laughs> nice. I like to show them off, so I, now I make sure I have a certain amount of bits. Nice. So, I said to him, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. So I'm asking you. The second best investigator. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So are you up for it? I don't know. It sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, supervisor. Hydration is the key to performance. Yes, I will. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. I'll do it. Wahoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are. There's a sloth who is hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. Okay. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they are stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you say the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. <laughs> it's time for you to go uh, to grab your magnifying glass and get going. I need a magnifying glass. Guys, I need it. See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks! Okay, it is what I needed, what I meant, what I wanted. Are these my friends? Who are those? It's me, a frog, and then we're having an underwater tea party. <gasps> magnifying glass, yes. Ah, here's my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. I picked it up. Good, def uh, good detecting, friend. I got an achievement from Steam. Look through your magnifier with right click. Ooh. Ooh. Is 
there is one thing. And this is that. Can I... No, nothing special about it. Okay. That's fine. Time to solve a mystery. Mm. That makes me so happy. Brace Brooksner presents. Hello. Fur, 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 fur. <laughs> I really like the music. It's not really nice. The magnifying glass is very important, yes. Wow. What an island. Holy moly. Looks fancy. This is Martin, yes. So, oh, there is Larry as well. Hello, Larry. More the mouse, mouse. Bernie. I will not remember those. Fresh eggs. Why? <laughs> and the rest, yeah. The haunted island. Okay. Will we solve this mystery? We will see. Quite some loading on oh, the the head scientist, right? The monkey. Hello. Oh, I can move. Okay, sorry. That was very rude of me. Uh, there is somebody drowning there. Would you like to help them? No. Okay, let's talk with you first. Mystery monkey. Sure. So MM, like in boys. Is this the boys' case? Ah, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Whoa, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who was behind the forest theft in the witch town, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog posts? <laughs> yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49. I comment all the time. I even made the funny joke once, and you responded. <laughs> of course, I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49. We do remember, guys. We remember you guys when you are commenting on our social media posts. Just, just saying. Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me by Mystery Monkey. Of course. Can I ask you some questions about the case? <laughs> questions? Yes. What would you like to know? The resident. Now we know what we want to know. May I ask who the resident of this island is? It's the sloth. We're just confirming. Uh, that be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Mm, very interesting. I'll investigate. What would you like to know? Where to start? Would you tell me that? Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already? Okay. Who should I talk to second? Hmm. It's like my mom's reading me bedtime stories with a dubbing. I'm sorry. I mean, yes, this is what we're going for. Enjoy. Larry, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. Although... I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. <laughs> Just like me. Not so much the other way around. I'll check it out. Thanks. Now would uh, you? What else? And that's it. Thank you, Mystery Monkey. I think I'll come back later after some investigation. See you around. Kind of cute. Notes. Hmm. Maybe a man in a suit. Is this a clue? Okay, so that's it, but you look very unhappy. Are you drowning or are you okay? Koala. Hi! Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. What? There's a storm! Yeah. It's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Have you guys done that? Done it? I did. 
It was fun. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kinda silly. I really want a magnet. Like the present you get when you're traveling? Hmm? I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Um, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. This is a scientist, by the way. Just, just saying. Nice! Right? I don't have an idea where to find one, though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? Where can I find a magnet for you? When did you want a magnet again? Yeah, yeah, I know that. If it sweetens the deal, I can give you this big shell in return. Uh-huh. It's, it's very point and click kind of exchange. I thought it might be magnetic, but it's not. Why would you think a shell was magnetic? How was I supposed to know? What am I, I'm a scientist? How do I break it to him? I... Okay. Is there anything you need to know? The ghost. Have you seen it? What can you tell me about the ghost? Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Maybe two weeks? What? Wow, are your feet wrinkly? Ew, I don't know. You should check. Maybe later. Is there anything you need to know? No. I'm good, thank you. Nothing for the moment, but I'll come back. For that shell. Oh, he's holding on to it. Okay. Alright. I'm super close. Like, very first person. Not used to it. Prefer third person okay let's go here hello how are you doing howdy why is he lying like that oh we're lying next to him okay hello are you the yep great you brought my toothpaste shipment uh um no i'm the detective oh okay can I call you DTEC? No. Yes. <laughs> nice. I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it away, DTEC. <clears throat> You're close. You're not a scientist, are you? Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. Sorry, sip sip. <laughs> Last bit of sip sip. You're right. Um, not about the sun. About taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Take it away, Detect. Why are you... Smiling in such a freaky way. Hello, beautiful. Hello, Leonis. Hello, welcome. Come on in. We just started a new game. Hope you will enjoy. It's very silly. Hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. That's a compliment if I've ever seen one. I think it's time for compliments in the chat too. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. 
How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. A doctor tight smile, 100 in one tooth whitening cool paste for teeth, of course. Doctor tight smile, 100 in one tooth whitening cool paste for teeth. I get a shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. Wow, where can I get some of my own? Do, do you have teeth? Look at him. Just look at him. Um, well, I could give you my tube, but I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? We'll take it for now. Oh, your eyebrows look brilliant today. Thank you. Thank you. And the charm, we all love Fanny for how brave they are. Oh, this, this game requires bravery. We're going to... Um, how's it called? Solve? Yes. Solve the case of a haunted island. Ooh. So it does require some uh, bravery. Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, and 78% charming. Amazing. Very nice score. Good job. Good job. I'll come back later with some questions. See ya. What I need um, this for? Doesn't help, does it? Doesn't uncover any new things. Hello. Okay. So I should talk to you. Larry. Hi, it's me, Larry. What happened there? I did not do it. Huh? What? What? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't. I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. That's like more suspicious. Of them. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. I heard just. I don't like being accused like this. Hydration is the key to performance. Oh, Pedro. Thank you. I have some last bits of vitamin lemonade. I shall drink them. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. Cheers, Pedro. I will need a refill later on. Oh, are you not? That's such a relief. Can I? Are you gonna ask me questions? Ask them. The questions, I mean. The noises. I didn't do it. What can you tell me about the? Firstly, I am not the one making them. Yeah. But I know where they're coming from. What? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told? Hello, Nogi. How are you doing? Come on, join in. We're doing some silly frog investigation. Why haven't to you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, Well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird because I do listen. Maybe then I am really a great listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Toothpaste we know already. Wool, gold, and pasta we'll find, probably. So the normal explosive ingredients, then. Just a standard explosive recipe. Yeah, if you wanna get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me then. Ask them questions. The explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Oh, yeah. Oh, that just reminds me. Okay. 
and the ingredients. Is the key to no, I don't have anything more to drink. Ooh, but for you, Nogi, I can make the background green. I turned on the lights today just for you, so you would know. It's gonna be green. This is how promised. Because this was easier for me than uh, giving you back the points. <laughs> and I will drink later. I don't have anything now. Toothpaste, some wool, gold, pasta. Thanks. Yeah, it's green. Goodbye. I think it's suiting for a frog, isn't it? The green, it stays. Hey. You're that detective, right? The one that Monkey keeps going on about? That's me! I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why did you take it? I'll be honest. I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? A job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out. Like me. I still... It still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Let's gaslight him into it. Oh no. You're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions? What else do you want to know? Oh, he has a pasta. Okay. What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I like the voices. Thank you, I'm trying. I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at the other jobs. Uh, I'm just letting you know. But... It does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a neutral... Natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call. But only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information, thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Mm -hmm. What else do you want to know? Do we want to go with the secret agent thing? But the secret agent thing. You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Um, secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. <laughs> Did he wink? I was looking at you guys. Even if I can't be a secret agent, these things I'd give up for magnifying glass. The things... The things I'd give up for magnifying glass. There's nothing I want more. Interesting. How about that pasta? What else do you want to know? I can give it to you. It's basically useless. For the pasta. Why did you want the mag a magnifying glass again? What do you mean, why? Everyone knows that the magnifying glass is the coolest of the secret agent items. Yeah, that one. Yeah, Donkey. Okay. How could you, a secret agent, not know that? Listen. Fine, fine. You're not a secret agent, whatever. What else do you want to know? Can we swap right now? I want that pasta. I'll come back with some questions. Suit yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, straight to the microphone. Yeah. Very sorry for that. And it's just this one. I have two dogs in the room. Just one is rude. Już. Cicho. Cichaj. Cicha woda. Cicha woda. Cicho. Cicho. Why do I agree to this? Why? I don't want to go on pasta too. Apparently, yeah. There's so many... Oh, cute little creatures like that, and they're smiling. The pasta, can I have it? Yum, but it's not mine. Can it be mine? I need it to make an explosive, apparently. Okay. 
So there's a lot of people. When can we start swapping? Took my sunglasses. Give back. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scooby-Doo. That's a very good one. Yes. Never split the party. By me. Cute. Some hall noises? Need some tomatoes for soup? Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. And I love the spelling of it. Can I get a magnet? Ooh, this might come in handy. Yes! <gasps> Got a magnet, that's perfect. That's for koala. Is there anything else that we can find here? No, that's okay. Hello. Science line. Hey. How is it hanging? I'm fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't say I'm not... What? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. Look at his face. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. No, no. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Is hunting ghosts supposed to be... Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. <laughs> Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Just so creepy. So creepy. Oh, the shedding. Yeah, the wool. Why are you shedding so much? <laughs> I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck, it's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. But there's wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. Surely that's not true. Uh, maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper is made out of wool. <laughs> Are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay. What if I wore a coat made of your slime? Hmm. What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but slime is kind of gross anyway. And I'm saying that as someone who is very slimy. Wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's head? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross. I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Oh, please. But you need something to clean it up with. Like a broom. Or like fire. Cool, okay. I probably won't use fire. Okay. Jesus. The writing in this crack... Yeah, it's amazing. Cracks me up. Amazing. Okay. Can't believe I'm wearing wool. Then. What if it's bodies? Mind if I ask more questions? Sure. The hole that you're standing next to. What can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts. Not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghosts in there. It's pretty deep hole, but gets smaller as you go down. 
And maybe there is a ghost further down. Do you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Barney and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I wish I could hang out there. What? Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? I... I don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Mind if I ask some more questions? Sure. Later. Later. Thank you. Science line. Don't go in it. Please don't. Can I get any of your walls? No. You're neatly tidying them around you. Can I jump into it? Oh! Hello. <gasps> I can get into a hole, oh, not a wall. I should have listened to the sign. Yeah, well, it's still good. We're still good. How far into the water can we go? Not far. That's good. Maybe that's for the best. Oh! Why you are back here? That's a good question. I like that they have it here. There are more people. Fene, why? Fene, ne, ne, why? What do you want? Three more people. Oh, and the king in this castle. Mouse. No. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I have just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. Hello. Hello, Loki. I don't want to be embarrassing. If I am embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Oh. Well, if it's okay... Is it okay if I ask you some questions? You have some questions? Questions, yes. Are you hiding something? You're nervous. You seem very nervous. May I ask why? Hi, Parin. How are you doing? My favorite professional sensor in European Frog Detective 1, The Haunted Island, Community Manager, Streamer. Hello, Parin. And congratulations on uh, winning the last, not poll, the prediction. Because you have won 10,000 points. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> I forgot what I wanted to ask. Oh, god damn it. Yes. Because of the... Because of the detective thing I told you. Um, I'm afraid of detectives. Oh, that's a very nice key to get out of weird situations. When you committed murder and you're like, I'm, I'm afraid of detectives. <laughs> I say beat Hogwarts, I'm very impressed. Oh, thank you, thank you. I did beat it. Yes, yes. Didn't 100% it, but I did beat Hogwarts Legacy, yes. After we've been playing since April, I think. So it took quite quite a while. Quite a while. Maybe when I was a kid I had a bad dream about detective. Something like that, I don't know. I'm sorry to hear Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you so afraid of me? Hmm. Hmm. Fine! You've worn me down. Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. <gasps> Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat. And I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. 
I want to compete and show Mr. Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mr. Monkey and find out? I can give you the mouse wash mouth wash in return. Sure thing, I'll do my best. Questions? Uh, mm -hmm. Let's do that right away because I will forget. I'll come back later. He has more to say. And there are still some people that we have not asked, but let's go to Mystery Monkey. What dance do you like? Interpretative, classical, cha-cha. I don't know what dance is. Questions, yes. Polonis. What would you like to know? Dance styles. Which one are your favorite? Hey, so uh, you, um, you like dancing? And um dance styles I don't understand. Um I like dancing a lot if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kinda. Uh what type of dancing do you like the best? Well I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like if you saw someone dancing, in what scenario would you most likely be like this is such a great dance. What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, um, I think break dancing is so neat. If I saw someone break dancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go so far to say. If I saw someone breakdance, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them at all times forever. That's a statement. That's great. What a good question, yeah. Sorry for such strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, got the monkey fact. Hell yeah. I like it that it's put into our inventory. Hello, mouse. You have some questions? Questions, yes. So the dance styles. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? Somebody needs therapy here, okay? Yeah, nothing suspicious, no. Somebody needs hardcore therapy here. I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Phew. Phew. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing? I think I can do that. I gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. Thank you. Good mouthwash. Yes. Thank you. Oh, and he starts practicing! Oh, that's fun. Okay, I love that. That's super neat. Oh, Better than the Olympics? So shy. So cute. Anything suspicious here? <gasps> Have you seen that? Wait! Have you seen it? Somebody was poking their head out there. Ooh, okay. It was, yeah, head. Oh, okay, this is what we have to blow up, okay. Hello. Why are you dabbing? Ah, stop right there. Hmm? Why? My shells. Don't step on my shells. Oh, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we? Stop right all? there, criminal scum. Perfect. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Are you still gonna stand like that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and even the duck. Oh. Nice. Very good, thank you. Thank you, Leonis. Why? 
I'm alert. I'm on alert. I'm protecting myself from dangerous fluffy. Wow. Sorry. You look very foxy. What does it mean? I'll take it as a compliment. Thank you. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shirts. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions, but just be careful. It's beautiful or sexy in the context. Oh. Love that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sneaky. Hmm. So when it comes to... No, I don't... Okay. Cave. That's what I'm here for, okay? The cave. Thank you, Leonis. Do you know anything about the cave? Huh? What? Huh? I'm not even sure if it's a cave. It just looks like a pile of rocks, if you ask me. It's a cave for sure. Well, I guess we'll just agree to disagree. It's still... It's literally a confirmed cave. You idiot. Potato, potato. Oh, nobody pronounces like potato. I do. Really? Yeah. Fair enough. Streamlabs needs to buckle up on compliments. Oh, yeah. Let's forgo the eyebrows already. Ask me questions, just be careful! Okay, so the shells. Why are you so obsessed? Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! <laughs> you fool! Hey! Sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one shot, this magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Mm. I see. Okay. We'll be back with the shell and we'll get the magnifying glass which was needed for somebody else. Um, the bear, of course. Bernie, I think, was his name. So, hello. Would you like to exchange things? Always with questioning. Is there anything you need to know? Can I give you the magnet? No. A magnet. I have it. I brought you a magnet. What? Like a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. Got the shell? Uh -huh. We're gonna exchange that. Yes, 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 yes. Can I run faster? No, it's okay. Hello. Yeah, I can't see them shelves. Shelves, shelves. Always asking questions. Ask me questions. Be careful. I have a big shell for you. Yeah, I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? Stop right there, criminal scum. It's very suiting for this dog. Stop right there. It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Uh, okay. Pro. Didn't lose a heart in that. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I have a magnifying glass so to look at the tiny shells. But I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still alert. Mm -mm. Why is the magnifying glass on Frog Detective Crotch? Oh, I'm very sorry. Mindlessly. Because I was looking for something and I couldn't find it. Ha <laughs> ha Um, what are you Yeah, anyway. Here's the magnifying glass. I was looking for something. Oh, he's so happy. Yeah, we're making everyone happy. There's a snake. 
in your house. I would do something about it. So magnifying glass goes to you. My favorite one so far. Questions, questions, questions. What else do you want to know? I have a magnifying glass for you. There can be two people with magnifying glass now. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. <gasps> interested? Are you kidding me? There's very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Oh, now uh, he even has it here in his front pocket. Sorry. I switched into Polish. I don't know why. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> is there anything I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. <clears throat> fine, fine. I couldn't give you my lunch. Oh, I could give you my lunch. What do you have? Pasta, as always. If there's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's a pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Yes! Heck yeah! All yours. Got some pasta. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. The mouthwash we need to give to the croc. Hello, croc. Can't imagine what it would sound like when we talk about koalas. Hmm. Yeah. Back for questions. Take it away, D-Tech. I have a mouthwash for you. I have some mouthwash. Amazing, thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here we go, D-Tech. Oh yeah, got some toothpaste. Awesome. So happy. Good for him. Okay. And now that we have this and this. Pasta, toothpaste, which is close to pass. It has passed in it. And let's go and talk to the last person. And we're still. Oh, there is a broom. Wait, we need that. Oh, a broom. Yeah, got a broom. Nice. We needed to clean the wall, of course. It's an adventure game, okay? Don't look for logic here. Can I clean your wool and take it then? Oh, he's called Noodle. That's what you say, Noodle. Oh. The sound koalas make. That's what you meant. Okay. No idea what they make. How. Yeah, how they are. How do they sound? I mean, not have all the answers, but go ahead. Ask away. I have a broom. Hey, I got that broom. Ready to clean? Yes, amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? It's still weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like... Take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Phew. Got some wool. Perfect. Mm -hmm. What's this? Oh, oh, that must be some kind of bug. <laughs> oh, an Easter egg. Probably one of the developers. That's so cute. Okay, I like that. Hello. What? Who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective here from the agency. Uh, okay, don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess just don't look so spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry, I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and Finley. 
So I thought it was fine to declare myself a king. I hope you're ready for the girls' jump scares. Yes, bracing myself for it. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I meant to ask Finley. Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Go ahead. Who's Finley? Got questions. Who the fuck is Finley? Who's Finley? Tell me. Right now. You mentioned your friend Finley. Who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance to for a competition. Her moves were pretty amazing. Not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete that what with this whole spooky situation going on. Uh, got questions for me? Tell me more about the dance competition. I know it's tomorrow. Anything else? You mentioned the dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins! Okay. Perfect. Sure. Good questions for me. About the noises that you've heard. You can't sleep because of them. Can you tell me about the noises and where they are coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide to Foolproof Ways to Sick Spirit. I read... I read most of it. Anyway, in the book it says that most ghosts can be seen and get this. I haven't seen a single ghost yet. I prove it's out there. Got questions for me? I love that. I love it so much. You're super nervous, why? What makes you uneasy? Ghost? You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? Fair point. Yeah. It's just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com. But now I'm leaving one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of this. Bottom of the grave more like? What? That made more sense in my head. I guess I mean like we'll probably die before mystery is solved. That's very dark. Dark, just like the conclusion to this tale. Um, sorry if I'm being dramatic. You know I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. That is, I like it. Yeah, it is fair. Where, how would you put it? In between the eyes? It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm going to find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I, I don't feel okay. I'm finding it really hard to calm down. I understand. Ghosts are scary. Your head is also a strange shape. How dare you? How dare you? And the mouse in the background practicing but it might not be a ghost you really think it's not a ghost i don't know for sure oh let's try a visual visualization exercise such a good mouse yeah practicing hell yeah what is a visualization exorcism it's a thing where you where we pretend imagine you're on a beach Surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. It is a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. 
<laughs> the drama. Yeah. Anyway, the waves. <clears throat> anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is giving in. No ghosts around at all. The ghost is on the road trip. Yep, nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just me and the ocean. How do you feel? The word drama. Got your voice? Yes. A drama. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great. Me too. Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of macaron. Ooh, hustle, hustle hard. Normal explosive ingredients. That's the esteem achievement for it. Well, that's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Okay. Got a question? No, not anymore. No, thank you. We've got everything. That looks like cheese, not a gold. Is it me? No problemo. You don't look easy still. Smile. It'll be better. Looks like a splash of blood, but it's actually just a starfish. Okay, so we need you to create explosives. More questions? Ask me then. The questions, I mean. The explosion. Let's do it. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow. You've got everything? Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Nice. I'll cook up some dynamite and we can get exploded. Baby. Yes. So who's there? Who's in that cave? Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up. Larry, explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. But but look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. I threw the dynamite. Oh my god. Oh, Oh, that's so cute. And the cave is open. What's the mystery of that cave? Wait, it is heavy now when I remember. What? <gasps> Thank you, thank you. So we're inside the cave now. Okay. A lot of little mushrooms. They're not smiling. I'd like to use that. I totally use that. Finally, a cave. Yes. Yes, this is a cave. We did it. We came into the cave. Let's see. Whoop. Mm. I hear something. It's a music! <gasps> I saw you before! Are you the friend? Got spooked! Ah! It is Finley! Oh, hi! Who are you? Are you a ghost? <laughs> what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Um, yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, um, who are you? Finlay, who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait a minute. Finlay, I know that name. I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition, of course. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Um, about two weeks. She's like two weeks, I guess. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? 
Uh, no. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. Yeah, twigs dancing. I feel like we're gonna find her body. Because it's like two weeks here. She's not dead. A lot of mushrooms, but I don't think these are edible. I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there, there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight? <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. So she has been eating the mushrooms, okay? Food, water. Yeah, she has food. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective. I like mushrooms. Do you guys like mushrooms? No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Oh, the birds singing? Yeah. Yeah, everything. Everything's coming together. Okay, it's okay. Any idea what the noises could be? Um, I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from the radio could easily travel up to the surface. Like mushroom too, but I cooked some the other day and they smelled so bad. Oh, maybe there was something wrong with them. I bet it sounds super warped too. You know, you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. <laughs> really? Haha. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. <laughs> that Then I'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Hmm. Haha. <laughs> Anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep. Okay. Finny lost their mind a bit. Maybe there was nothing to lose. Bird brain, so called. Effects of shrooms. Oh, maybe. You could have died. Oh, well. <gasps> Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. Everyone lost their mind a little bit here. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You what? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so warped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But... My ghost books! I was so sure it was a ghost! Nope, just me. It just goes by... Uh, it just goes to show. You should never trust books. And you uh, always use the internet instead. The more you know. <laughs> yeah. Books are without exception. Factually inaccurate. Yep. Oh, oh, Grace Brooks, did a good job. Hi there. Apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information, but make sure to check uh, to make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Grace. So anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. <laughs> sure thing. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of the books. You're very welcome. So, just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time? Yep. Oh, hi Kovsha, hi. 
I'm in it to win. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition? Best dancer wins. What else is competing? Um, that's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mary the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists? The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrance. I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie. But I won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to the day! Yeah! 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 Before we dance, I just want to say thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry. Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry too. So, shall we boogie? And let's go! Good job, Grace. I really enjoyed it. Programming Thomas. Good job, Thomas. No issues. Soundtrack done. Very nice soundtrack. Thank you. Thank you for making the game. So who's the best? I think the mouse is... Mo the mouse is doing quite well. Mr. Monkey is giving a lot too. Holy moly. Everybody rocks. Hell yeah. Amazing. Isn't the king fortniting? I'm not sure. Oh, the breakdance of the bear. Bernie. Love the ending. Who was the best dancer? I think it has to be Bear. Bernie. Oh, wait. Where the little spinner in behind? Oh, you've missed some of them. That was the Bernie. Yeah. I'll, I'll do it? What? I didn't read. What will I do? Oh, everyone now. Yeah, right in the middle. Just all free mock up dances. That is a fun fact. Nice! Awesome! Why not? Because why not? Oh, the king doing the boogie. Yes. Oh, yeah! Alright, I think that's it of the game. Yeah, for me it is Bernie. Who did you think was the best dancer? That's a good vibe. I think Shrimp Guy did the best with the single ladies dance. <gasps> oh, me he was was giving. He was living. I pick. Okay, so for me it was Bernie. Will it change the ending? Do I have to replay it? Picked a winner. When will this game end? <laughs> Steam's. My hand is hurting. Thank you. Oh. <gasps> Wait, there's more? Let me go. A little bit late, there is more. Okay. Mm. Ooh, a new memory unlocked. Ah, we're doing some boogie. Yes. Ooh, it's our boss, isn't it? 
Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I help you? This is when he gets invited to the Avengers. I remember now. Oh, sneak Fury on the phone. He looks just like him. Detective. Supervisor. Great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you. I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cobb could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cobb. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah, where did you see that? It was on TV. Every channel. Every channel in HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing. But I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case? The detective. <gasps> I can handle anything! Oh, that's... Oh, that feels so good! A detective will return. In the next game. <gasps> the case of the invisible wizard. We'll see. Are you doing the whole trilogy? Yes. Yes, I do have all three games and I want to play through all of them. So... The frog detective will return.